Now this is uh, called ad adagon. Okay, so let me write adagons. Okay, now what is adagons? Adagons. Okay. So what you do is basically this is a uh, basically is a fun game. So you have a number here. Yeah? So say so let's say this is A, this is B, and this is C. This is a number. So a plus B should give you 7. Two numbers that gives you 7. B plus C should give you 9. And C plus A should give you 10. So those are three equations if you want to do algebra. So let's do without algebra. So let's think of two numbers that adds to 7. So let's, let's start with 2 and 5. So if you go 2 and 5, 2 and 5 gives you 7. Now if you write 5 here, 5 plus what gives you 9? 4. But 4 plus 2 is not 10. So this is not right. Okay. So let me swap the numbers around. So what if I write 2 and 5 like this? So well, 2 plus 5 is 7. 2 plus 7 is 9. Okay. But this is not right. So this is also not working. Okay, so now let's take 3 and 4. 3 and 4. I could have done 1 and 6. So if I go 3 and 4, that's 7. So 4 plus 5 is 9. Okay, this is 5. This is 5. But 5 plus 3 is not 10. So this is not right. So this is called trial and error method. Okay, so now let's say do 4 and 3. What happens? 4 and 3 is 7. 3 plus 6 is 10, sorry, 3 plus 6 is 9, and 6 plus 4 is 10. So this is right. Now you realize this, you realize here that if you do this way, it takes a long time. So there should be an easier way to do this. So that's where you use algebra. Okay, so A plus B is 7, B plus C is 9. So let me say this is A. This is B and this is C. So we have made three equations. A plus B is 7, B plus C is 9, C plus A is 10. So let's add them. So, so can I do A plus B plus B plus C if I'm adding both sides? You can do in different ways. Plus C plus C is equal to. Now what is A plus B? A plus B is 7. What is B plus B? C. B plus C is 9 plus 10. So this is 7, this is 9, and this is 10. So in place of A plus B, I put 7. In place of B plus C, I put 9. And in place of C plus C, I put 10. So what can I do now? So let's regroup it. So this is where algebra makes your life very easy. So the only thing is you have to go through a process. So let's group this. So can I write this as A plus A? You're adding it, so you can add in any order. A plus A plus B plus B plus C plus C is equal to how much? So this is 7 plus 9 is 16 plus 10 is 26. So this is A plus A is 2 times 2 lots of A. So in algebra you write 2A. 2B two two plus B is 2 lots of B, which is 2B, plus 2C is equal to 26. And I'm going to write 26 as 2 times 13. So now I'm going to divide the whole thing by 2. If I divide this side by 2, this by 2, this by 2, you can also divide this side by 2. So 2 and 2 gets cancelled. So your answer is, or you have, you can write A plus B plus C. The three numbers should add to 13. Okay, if you don't want to do the whole process, the whole, the addition of three numbers would be the half of the addition of these numbers. Okay, so if you want to do directly this step, A plus B plus C is half of the addition of these three numbers. So 10 plus 7 is 17 plus 9 is 26 and half of 26 is 13. Okay, now what can we do? 
Now what is a plus b? What is a plus b? a plus b is 7. So in place of a plus b, I can put 7. So 7 plus c is equal to 13. Uh, am I right? Yeah. So c has to be, so 7 plus what is 13? So c has to be 6. So I can write 6 here. Okay, so if you write 6 here, you can directly do, so this has to be 3 and this has to be 4. And that's what we did by trial and error. Okay, so I want you to do this same way. You've got 9, 11, and 12. You can pause this video and try to do yourself. Hopefully you have done it. So let me write the whole process again. So this is A, let me write A plus B plus C like this. So I can just say A plus B is 9, B plus C is 11 and c plus a or a plus c doesn't matter c plus a is equal to 12. so i'm going to add smartly now so if you add this side you're going to get 2a to put two lots of a plus two lots of b plus two lots of c is equal to this is how much this is 9 plus 11 is 20 32. Okay, so this is 2, uh, you can factor out the 2, so that is, let me do this in a different way. And yeah, I can write 2 times 16. Now you can divide both sides by 2, so you can cancel the 2, so A plus B plus C is 16. So again, what is B plus C? Okay, so let's do this in a different way. So in place of B plus C, I can put 11 is equal to 16. Now a plus what plus 11 gives you 16, so a has to be 5. So once you figure out one number, you can write the other numbers very easily. So this is 5, so this has to be 7. And if this is 7, this has to be 4. So 5 plus 4 is 9, 4 plus 7 is 11, 7 plus 5 is 12. Okay, so do this question okay take this down and try to challenge yourself doing this and there's one more question